Hey guys, we're going to find all the minor and cofactors of this matrix, the 3x3 matrix. So let's start with M11. To find the minor, we take the determinant of this matrix, only you get rid of the first row and first column. So you find the determinant of 5, 6, negative 3, and 1. So that's 5 minus negative 18. So that is equal to positive 23. I believe 5 minus negative 18, yep, 23. Now we look at the cofactor of this, of 1, 1. And that's going to be equal to 23 as well. Because the cofactor is equal, cofactor of ij is equal to negative 1 to the i plus j of the minor ij. So we have negative 1 squared is 1 times the determinant, which is 23. So that's just going to be 23 as well. So now we look at m of 1, 2. That's going to be equal to the determinant of 4, 6, 2, 1 because now we get rid of the second column, so 4, 6, 2, and 1. And that's going to be 4 minus 12 is going to be negative 8. Now, if we take the cofactor of this, we know negative 1 cubed, because you have 1 plus 2, is equal to negative 1 times negative 8 is equal to 8. Now we have m13 is equal to to 4, 5, 2, negative 3. So we have negative 12 minus 10 is going to be negative 22. And the cofactor of this will not change because you have an even number here. So it's just going to be negative 22. Now we have the second row to deal with. That's going to be 2, 1, negative 3, 1. As you get rid of now the second row in this first column, so you get 2, 1, negative 3, 1. And that determinant is going to be 2 minus negative 3, so that's 5. And you have the cofactor of 2, 1. That's an odd number, so you know it's going to be negative 1 times 5. That's negative 5. Now we look at m, the minor at 2, 2. And we're going to get rid of this row and this column. So you have negative 3, 1, 2, 1. We multiply negative 3 by 1, subtract 2. So that's going to be negative 5. And we look at the cofactor at 2, 2. We know that um, negative 1 to the 4th is going to be 1 times negative 5 is just negative 5, so that stays the same. And we look at minor of 2, 3 now. We get rid of this, again, second row, third column. So we have negative 3, 2, 2, negative 3. And we have the determinant of that being 9 minus 4 is 5. You see 2 plus 3 is 5, so negative 1 to the 5th is going to be negative 1. So the cofactor of this is going to be negative 1 times 5, and so that once again is going to be negative 5. Continuing, we have the third row to deal with. We get rid of the third row, first column, so we have 2, 1, um, right, third row, first column, so you have 2, 1, 5, 6. The determinant of this is 12 minus 5 being 7, and you look at the cofactor, you know it's not going to change because you have an even number, 3 plus 1 is 4. So that's going to stay 7. We look at m 
three, two. We get rid of the third row, second column, so negative three, one, four, six. Negative three, one, four, six. That's gonna be negative 18 minus four. That's negative 22. And we have the cofactor of three, two being three plus two is five. So that's gonna be negative one times negative 22 is equal to 22. Now we look at the minor of 3, 3, and that's going to be equal to negative 3, 2, 4, and 5. So we have negative 3, 2, 4, and 5. Negative 15 minus 8 is going to be negative 23, and we have C of or the cofactor of 3, 3 is not going to change because it's going to be an even number of 1s. Therefore, you have 1 times negative 23 is negative 23. So that is all of the minor and the minors and cofactors of this um, matrix. Uh, thank you very much. Thanks for watching. Follow me on Twitter, and uh, have a good day. Bye.